What's up you guys? Welcome back to another day in the series of decorating for Christmas 2023. So if you did not already watch the first episode, I guess, of this series, I will leave a link down below. We decorated everything basically that's behind me and I love the way that it turned out. So I wanted to take the time and move on to another portion of the house because we're slowly doing this because decorating, especially if you have a large space, is it takes a lot of time and it's a lot of items that go into all of it. So today we are moving on to our sofa. So I'm switching out the cushions, the pillows, the blankets, and then we're going to do the entryway buffet table. And I might, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do the dining table, which I might do. So before we get started, kind of like my vibe for Christmas is just very cozy, warm, and nostalgic. I want my home to feel very inviting. I want people to walk in and feel almost like it's familiar because it just evokes those types of emotions in them. So I like lots of red. I like cheesy, corny, which you'll see I have a lot of like cheesy and corny things when it comes to like my kitchen decor with like cute little Santa Clauses and things like that. But I also want it to look very elegant at the same time with the beautiful like sparkle, the brass, the gold, the silvers, just all of that. So that is kind of my vibe for decor. It is not neutral whatsoever. There are reds, greens, there's color all throughout it. And I personally love that. I know some people are into it, some people aren't. So if you like this type of decor, then I hope you enjoy this video. Even if you don't like this type of decor, I hope you still like the video because I can look at so many different themes and color stories of Christmas decor and it just gives me the feels no matter what the color story is. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into today's decorating. Okay, so starting off, you guys already saw this and this kind of trickles into this. Sorry, you're getting a lot of the light from this way so the lighting might be a little funky. This is what the couch situation looks like and we're also going to be touching our coffee table up. So I am going to leave this throw blanket because it is one of my all time favorite blankets. This is from West Elm and it just, it gives that cozy vibe very, very easily. Um, but we are going to switch out the pillow covers, put away kind of like the fall color stories that we have going on, decorate the center of the coffee table, which I don't like to put too much on there because I don't like blocking the TV, but you can see there's just some random stuff. My drink that I was drinking earlier, a pumpkin candle. So we're gonna clear all of this up, wipe this down, add, our touches of Christmas to the couch. I have to get Lenny down. This is what's going on my sofa. So I have these velvet pillow covers that I got last year, I think last year, or maybe the year before actually. Um, and I just, I love velvet for Christmas. I feel like it's just so pretty and classic. So I have these two pillow covers and then this is my throw blanket that I actually got last year. I got this, I think at Marshall's, a red and white throw blanket. It looks very cottagey, very cozy, very warm and inviting so that is what we're going to be throwing on the couch and then this is what I have to work with for a lot of the space I am going to pull out some candles and things like that and I do have more decor but as of right now these are like the main pieces so I have some Christmas trees some from this year some from last year all of my reindeer are old a lot of these Christmas trees are old I didn't buy too many like Christmas trees, nutcrackers, or reindeer this year because I had so many. A lot of these have come with me throughout the years. Um, the only new things are this. This is a candlestick holder from World Mar no, not World Market, from Kirkland's. This is the Studio McGee Bell from Target that I absolutely love. This is from this year. And this is from this year. This Christmas tree, I got this from Marshall's, but everything else is from last year between Marshall's, Target, Home Goods. I always like to start off with just clearing off all the space that includes Leonard. So I started off just cleaning off the coffee table. I like to give everything a really good wipe down. I feel like that's just a, a common thing. Everybody just likes to wipe the spaces down before they go adding any new or extra things. So I just wiped the table off the top and the bottom and kind of fluffed up all of the blankets that I already have. This one, like I mentioned before, is from West Elm. It is one of the best investment items I own. I think it was right under $80 and it is so fluffy and soft and it looks so luxe. Um, and then the other blanket that I have, that dark green one, is from Target this year, Studio McGee. And then I just layered the red and white blanket on top of it. 
These pillows, like I mentioned, the pillow covers are from Amazon last year, so I can link those, so I'll leave them linked down below. So I'm just going through and cleaning off all of my little tools, my candle snuffer, all those things, cleaning out this tray because it does get dusty over, just over the time that it's sitting there. Um, and then I like to start layering. So I will place and then take away probably 50 times until I settle on what I actually like. I am constantly changing things. There are probably things by the time you see this video that I have already changed in the space. Just because after sitting with it and living with it for a little bit, there's times that it just, it in theory it works, but function wise, it just doesn't work as well. So here I am just switching around candlestick, candlestick holders, reindeer, Christmas trees, just really switching things around. I ended up adding this gold Christmas tree. I don't even know where that is from. I've had it for years and I always throw pine cones into the mix. I wanted to add some red because this was looking very just bland as far as colors. So I added this red bow and tied it around the reindeer and it looks so cute. Um, also a pro tip, if you are sticking candlesticks into holders, always melt the bottom of the wax. It helps the candlestick stay firm in there. So this is what the coffee table ended up looking like. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the entry table. And this is a pretty big, long, grand table. Some of the stuff will be staying and just being recycled. Like the record player will stay, of course. Um, and I'm just gonna readjust some things here and make it a lot more Christmassy. I do also have some decor in here that I'm going to pull out. I have my letters for Santa. Oh, hey, it's me. I have a Letters for Santa mailbox that's going on there. I have some garland as well. Some more candlesticks and candlestick holders. So let's clean off this table and get it jolly. Starting off again by just clearing everything off. This entry table is very, very, very large. This wall that we have behind it is extremely long. So my table is big it's a beefy boy it's a it's a big guy also gets very dusty over time so i always just like to clear everything off go in and wipe down every single surface um, a lot of the things are staying here like i mentioned like my record player which is from amazon i will leave it linked down below that table uh top mirror that's there in the corner is also staying here and i'm going to zhuzh it up and decorate it that mirror is from the at home store. I think it's available online, so if it is, I will link it down below. And then that black thing that's in my hand, you will see it in the decor. It is an Aromatech essential oil diffuser. Um, so that stays there because I will put oils in there and have it diffusing throughout the days. Um, cleaning off my mirror, I put bats on here for Halloween and big mistake because the stickers are stuck there and I can't get them off. It's been very difficult. Um, so I'm starting off with this garland that I bought from Amazon last year. It is beautiful once you see it. I don't like the way that it feels. It is not real touch, but the way that it looks is stunning and it's also pre-lit. So that one I can leave linked down below. I brought up my Letters for Santa mailbox, which is from Hobby Lobby. Also, I'm pretty sure still available. Is it Hobby Lobby? No, it's from Michaels. So I will leave that link down below as well if I can find it. And then I'm just going in and once again, adding and taking away, adding and taking away between candlestick holders, reindeer, Christmas trees, just a lot of placing, moving back, looking at it, going back up, taking it down. I switched this around maybe eight or nine times just throughout this little session. I knew without a doubt I wanted to add my Christmas tree candlestick holders or Christmas tree candlesticks in my candlestick holders. Um, those Christmas tree candlesticks I found at Home Goods, but they have pretty much identical ones on Amazon that I will leave linked down below for you guys. And again, just burning the bottoms of them so that they stay firm. I was really trying to make this mini candlestick holder of a nutcracker work and it just, it wasn't doing it for me. I brought in this candle, which is an MFK Baccarat candle because of the red. I love the pop of red that it brings in there. And just messing around with the placement of all of these things. Like I said, this thing changes so many times in just this session of me messing with this front thing. Um, then I decided to pull out this gold ribbon. I actually bought this ribbon at an antique mall. Funny enough, I bought this ribbon and a vintage candlestick holder in May and I said I'm going to hold it until Christmas and I'm going to use it and look at how beautiful 
it ended up looking. It just, I don't know, it brings so much charm to that space. Just who would have thought a little red piece of ribbon formed into a bow would be so beautiful. Then I'm just fighting all my candlesticks to set the vibe. All right, guys. So we're on to the final section of the core today, and that is the dining room. So for the dining table, we sit at the dining table every single day. Like we're big dining table room, dining room users. Um, so I do not want to fill this with too much, but I still do want some festive. I'm super thirsty. I haven't had any water today. I want some festive touches on this table. I brought this over here. These are some dried florals from Hobby Lobby that were for fall. I might change these out, but for right now, I just, I love them. I think they're beautiful. So I'm gonna put them here. And then I have three nutcrackers, which I am not sure which one I wanna use. If I want to use any, I might save them for different rooms. I have three candlestick holders, one of them being the nutcracker that I think I am definitely going to use. And I'm just a candlestick holder freak, so I have tons. I have some candlesticks left, I have my bell, and I have one reindeer. So I wanna figure something out that'll look cute and festive without cluttering it too much. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna, we're gonna get this figured out and situated. On to decorating this dining table. If you're also someone that notices everything, you're probably like, why does she have two different styles of chairs? It's because we just moved into this house less than eight months ago and I've been testing out different chairs. So that's why they're, they're different styles. But anyways, this area I really wanted to keep empty enough, but still add some touches of Christmas because like I mentioned, we use this space every day. So I went very, very minimal very simple, very clean, and just easy to still eat at daily. Okay, you guys so i hope you enjoyed part two of the decorating series i am in love in love with the entryway especially that's always like the most exciting part to decorate to me the entry table i am obsessed with it absolutely love all of this all of this i need to get batteries the batteries actually just went out for the garland so i definitely have to get batteries for that love this little bow that i just made um so cute love all of my candlestick holders you guys already know all the candlesticks everything is just tying together so so well and i'm super super happy with it so i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for part three that is coming very very soon um for part three i'm going to decorate the kitchen, I may end up decorating the hutch that we have here. I'm still deciding on if I want to move it or not and decorate that, but I will be decorating the kitchen for sure and we'll be moving into the guest bathroom. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already for more home content, decor content, vlogmas for sure, and I will see you guys in the next video.